What's good? This is Marcus DeFingas back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk all about the Zenith Modern Trailer Archetype Plugin from Cinematic Tools. Before we get into that, go to defingas.com slash free plugins, defingas.com slash free plugins. Check out my free plugins gear guide. Let's get into it right here. We're going to talk about Zenith or Zenith, however you want to say it or call it. Zenith Zenith is a plugin that you can use if you are into modern trailer production, if you're into trailer music for movies, video games, TV shows, if you're doing composing for movies, trailers, uh, TV shows, things like that, video games. This is a great plugin to add to, to your arsenal. I'm going to play a piece that I created using only Zenith, Zenith, and then we're going to talk about the plugin itself and what you can use, the sounds that are in there. We're going to do just a quick overview of it. So before we get into it, let me play this piece. Here we go, using only the sounds from Zenith. So here we go. So that is the trailer track I have with just the Zenith modern trailer archetype. Let's get into the plugin itself. Again, you already hear how the quality of some of those sounds are. And then when you start layering them with strings and brass and other cinematic elements, you can just take it to that whole other level. But it also functions really um, well just on its own. So let's get into the plugin itself. As you can see right here, we have the main engine. I have transitions loaded up. Um, what I can do is uh, to load it up, and I haven't seen these in a lot of the walkthrough videos. Um, I, I don't think it's a native access instrument. If someone can let me know if it is, uh, if it is, you, it'll show up on the right, on the left side here, but I don't see um, that as an option right now, maybe in the future. But what you can do is you can load it up to your drive, hard drive, and then just access the folder, go to instruments, and then you can load up the instruments here. And we're going to start, we're going to go right down the line. We're going to go to the epic trailer kit um, i'm going to load that up and then um we'll play through a couple of sounds i'm not going to play through all the sounds just because people are stealing sounds um but here is uh and i don't have my keyboard plugged up but that's just one of the sounds you have the uh, envelope over here adsr you have high pass low pass filter you can reverse the sound so you can have already effect right there you can adjust the start time of the sample and you can, uh, it's really sensitive to uh, just a little bit of a, you can see just a little bit of a start time and adjust the whole sample. For fast playing, this is great when you're doing sort of fast rhythmic things. It'll tighten up the sound of the percussion drum. So if you're doing some fast rhythmic things, uh, in the middle here, you have this knob, which adds a, bolt, a bunch of uh, subtle effects, maybe saturation, some compression there. Um, let's see how that sounds. Maybe a little bit of stereo width. 
it's it's very subtle um and then on the right you have reverb you can turn that on or off you have a bunch of different reverb uh, uh simulations here or emulations uh some great ones um you don't even have to go to an external third-party plugin it's all built in you also have delay built in you can have 16 uh triplets or eighth and triplets fourth uh, quarter note triplets or half notes and triplets and then you can adjust the settings there you can be polyphonic monophonic you have effects built in i'm not going to go into all these different parameters just because there are plenty of videos uh that go into all of these i want to go i really want to get to the sounds but you have six layers of effects you can add up to um including saturation transient distortion screamer tape filters uh low fi wah wah fire amp limiter with uh compressor plate space uh plate reverb space reverb chorus flangers phaser um and then you get different settings depending on which ones you choose uh you'll have those different options and different knobs and settings uh, let's say i wanted to add compressor um and chorus so you have all those things going on um I'm going to disable all those uh, before I like blow up the system. Um, and that's on the effects page. You can have six of those going. And then you also have stutter. So this allows you to build uh, build your own way of the sound playing. So the own, it's like a playback engine um, where you can have different stutter effects. You can have a random effect. You can reset it. Uh, you can have it play forward, backwards, or forward and backwards, or backwards and forwards. Or you can just have that play randomly. So much power in there. You can also adjust the filter, um, the cutoff of the different filters, which would be sort of the EQ. And then you have the pan here, the left, right pan, where you can have some fun with the panning um, between the left right and the stereo field or you can set that to random to see what happens there so you can just click that a bunch of times uh, for all of those and have different random settings just make sure to hear it that you have it powered on uh right there uh so next we're going to go into the master controls down here so what you can do is you can have the steps uh, you can adjust the speed um how many steps you see on these different things um how many steps will play the speed of it you can bypass it just to hear um with the without the effects and then you can load and save your own uh effects for the stutter. Um, same with effects. You can also save and load different effects chains there. And then on the main, um, you have their different main page. So I'm going to get right into uh, some of the other sounds. We played through Epic uh, Trailer. I'm going to go to Percussion. As you can see, you have a bunch of percussion. I'm not, I'm not going to play through all these. Um, I, I really, 808s, you know, hit or miss. I think a lot of producers now probably have, I have hundreds, thousands of 808s by now, um, including plugins that allow you to customize your 808s. So that might not be a necessity. So I'm going to leave that out. I do like the symbols and hats, um, even though with symbols, I also have a lot of those. But let's go through some of these hats. Uh, um, let's play. And again, the blue notes down here, you can adjust the pitch of the hats. So if you want a little bit more darker sound, use a lower end. If you want some uh, sort of tinnier sounds, use a higher end. So you can have those hats be like really like percussion. You have some junk effects in here. Uh, let's load that up. And with the junk effects, it's more just like sound effects, trailer, trailer hits. Almost like some metal, metal sounds. Uh, let's go down here. Um, you have kicks and snares. I'm not going to play through those, but some great things there. Now in staples, we have Brahms. If you are familiar with Brahms, those are the low hit, like uh, almost like synth mixed with brass. Here is what those sound like. And you have 20 of those to choose from. I'll play one more. So really loud. You have brass benders. You have uh, some Brahms KS. I actually don't know what the KS is. Um, you have downers. Let's go to downers. Those are sort of the, the descending um, notes of a, like a, a downer. Downshifter. Sometimes they're called downshifters. So it's almost like, you know, something falling obviously down. We also have this thing called hybrid tracer. Now, I really like these um, as like drone type sounds. I'm going to play through one. And then as you hold it down, the note will play longer. Uh, let's play this uh, 16. And again, you can adjust the start time. If you just want to play the end there, you can reverse it. And then you can reverse it and start and adjust the start time. That's kind of cool. And then again, you still have all those uh, same settings there that you can adjust. We're going to go to risers. Those are sort of the opposite of downers. Um, and those are what build up. Here's one. And then what you can do is at the end of that, you can add a hit. Um, so we're going to go to synths next. We have distorted basses. Let's play a couple of those. Really great for adding, you know, that trailer bass sound. 
and then you can layer that with the Brahms. Let's go to drones. I, I like using these usually at the beginning of a, of a trailer track. And as you can tell, that's going to be a long drone, so you can let that play out for a long time. Let's play one more here. So just really great high quality sounds. And then we're going to play through a couple of pads. I'm going to show you how I like to use the pads. We're going to play pad one. Cool sound there. Let's play pad 15. And what I like to do with the pads is I can create a lead from it. If you adjust the start time. Right there, you can start to build like a, your own custom playable key lead from, from the pad sound. So just to start time to a decent start point, and then you can start playing in your melodies and things. Um, that's how I did it with this trailer track that you heard earlier. And then you can adjust the filter cutoff and things and automate some of those things. Next, we're going to go to Time Machine. This is TikToks, TikToks. Um, sometimes it's TikToks, clock sounds. Um, what I like about it is that you can have these different notes. I think green is sort of like the traditional clock sounds. Yellow might be a little bit more distorted or affected, but I like them both. So, and then you can build your own rhythm or you can add an arpeggiator to sort of have that rhythm. Then we're going to go to trailer hits, uh, booms, impacts, wish hits. Booms are sort of like the, uh, the low end. Usually you hear them at the beginning or usually like an impactful moment in a movie. Um, I like to add them at the end, but here's one. And I actually have one of those at the end of my track. Um, here is another one. When I have the impact, it sort of takes away, if there's a build to it, it takes away the build and it just leads to the uh, the hit. Um, so there's a couple booms there. We also have impacts. Uh, let's load that up. Um, and what we can do here is I can play this. And it's just a really loud, you know, you have your frequencies of all the percussion. Um, you have some reverb in there just really really powerful hits um then we have what's called whoosh hits so it's basically going to have a whoosh that leads into a hit um almost like a wind type sound so here's one of those and then if you just want the impact you can just choose impact and then hit that note and i like using just the impact to layer under percussion so you have a bunch of those whoosh hits in there then we also have whooshes i know i'm going through this kind of fast you got to get the plug in to really dive in um, we have whooshes here Um, those are just the, the wish builds up. And then finally we have transitions. I really like, this is probably my favorite part of the plugin, um, because these are like built in, um, uh, sequences of trailer things that you can either, either add for me, usually at the beginning or the end, sometimes in the middle, but here's one of them. a really like a pre-made transition uh i'm not gonna play anymore um but a pre-made transition that's already built for you to use this is really a great plugin for you to just dive in get some ideas going i'm gonna play through my track one more time that i made using only the zenith plugin so you can hear how these sounds can work together um how you can use them i believe it is currently on sale i will include a link in the description um i believe at the time i'm recording this video hopefully i get it posted and the sale still up um it is on sale so definitely catch it i believe it's at 50 percent off so it's a really great deal um for the discount price so let's check it out one more time here is the piece using only the cinematic tools zenith zenith uh the modern trailer archetype <laughs> 